What is up, everybody? What's going on? This is Jerry the Mining Monkey signing in on this uh, Saturday evening. And I was just uh, twiddling my thumbs here on this windy evening, and um, I was just wondering, you know, what can I do on this windy day? I don't want to go outside and metal detect because it just makes metal detecting very difficult. I don't like to detect in windy on windy days anyways, but I figured I'd um, attack this version 105 update. I know. I've been reading in some of the forums that um, version 105 has been a bear to update. Um, some of us are technically challenged, others uh, have a gift with working with electronics and technology. And uh, with that said, we're going to go over some do's and don'ts in regards to uh, doing this very important update. So currently I have the legend right here, it's folded nice and compactly on my uh, desk here. And you'll notice, um, let me move this around here for a little bit. I'm going to fire up this um, this machine, and you'll notice that we are currently factory version 104. That's the version that we are currently on. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, that's the version that we are currently on. Just to show you guys, we're going to shut this thing off just by holding down the power button. And version 104 to me, so far, has been very stable. Um, I have not taken it to the beach, and from what I've been reading and hearing is some have been having some difficult, some have been having some difficulties in the beach mode. But if you read the manual and the instructions for beach mode, there is a stability option that um, we need to take advantage of so that we can make it quiet and remove some of those honks and bumps and chirps and burps that people are encountering. And once you use that stabilizing feature, guess what? It's quiet. So let's talk about version 105, some of the improvements that have been made in version 105. There have been uh, a series of fixes that have been implemented, uh, nine to be, um, to be mentioned um, as far as bullet points are concerned, but um, more than nine have been added. So beginning with number one, the pinpoint function has been improved. Uh, I know I'm kind of just regurgitating what DLEC has already mentioned in the update, but for those of you that have not seen her video, uh, the recent video in regards to the updates that have been made in version 105, um, this is, these are the updates that have, um, or this is, these are the features that have been implemented. Pinpoint function has been improved. Uh, feature number two is multi-mode or M1, multi-frequency parameters have been updated. So these are just behind the scenes parameters that have been updated. I don't know exactly what, but uh, the engineers saw fit to make these changes and um, hence the M1 multi-frequency parameter has been updated. Audio alert. For automatic frequency shift or noise cancellation completion has been extended. So I have not had a chance to play around with this, so I have not noticed uh, regarding this noise cancellation or the frequency shift. Uh, factory default tone break value has been changed from 11 to 10 in park mode. I have detected in, in park mode. I have not um, looked at the tone break or noticed the tone break. So. Um, in version 104, I have not noticed it. So these are just some things that I probably won't even be able to tell once I make this update to 105 because I have not made the um, the jump yet to version 105, which, which we will do in just a minute. Ferris off discrimination pattern has been updated to reject IDs 1 through 10 in park and field modes. Number 6. Threshold audio level has been increased in gold mode. Number seven, audio response during ground balancing in gold mode has been updated. Now, I do hit the gold fields from time to time, and I, like I said, I have not had a chance to go out and hit the fields in regards to the gold fields in regards to the audio responses for ground balancing. So I'm sure even with 105, it's gonna be that much better. Number eight, backlight levels has have been reconfigured and lastly there are some other bugs that have been fixed which who knows um, what those were but at any rate 
Those were the nine updates and improvements that have been made with version 105. So without further ado, um, let's see what we can do. So first and foremost, make sure that your coil cable is connected and your Legend USB cable. You have to use the Legend cable that came with the Legend. You cannot use the Simplex or other connector uh, from Nocta Macro. You have to use the approved Legend cable because um, the pinout is actually different. So the other end is a USB cable. It's simply one of these flat USB type like this. And um, you're just gonna plug it into your computer. And you'll notice that this cable, the adapter is much thicker than the simplex cable. So that is one way of knowing. So what I would strongly encourage so that you can identify the two cables is to, uh, if you have a label maker or a piece of tape and a paper, uh, affix it to the cable so that you can identify for later use. Because if you get them mixed or confused later, you're gonna find out if you, if you want to uh, update it later, it's not gonna work. So then what you do is assuming that you have already downloaded your Nocta Macro, um, assuming that you already downloaded your Nocta Macro client, Windows client, which is gonna be, pull it up here. Here's your Nocta Macro client, your update tool. Once you open that up, let me digress here for a minute. Once you plug in your USB cable, your adapter that came with the legend, the instructions say that you must hear the alert sound on the computer indicating that the device is connected by the computer. If not, remove and connect again. I don't think that's going to happen because there is no power to the legend. Although it does detect power coming out of the laptop going into the legend, which is why it turns on. For example, if I disconnect it from my laptop, notice what happens when I plug it in. It turns on. I don't hear no audio, tur uh, audio sound, but it turns back off. And I did not hear an audio alert. If that happens, don't sweat it, don't fret it, okay? Continue with the directions. So with the detector still off, what you're gonna do is press and hold the up button. The up button is right here. There's a little plus button, that's up. You're gonna hold it up until it says up. Now you're in update mode. Then you let go of the button. And then at that point, what you're gonna do is you're going to open up your your Nocta Macro update tool. You're gonna browse to your bin file, your version 105, which in this case, it's gonna be in the directory that you saved it to. In this case, I put it on my desk. Nope, on my desktop. What I, where I put it is the legend update version 105, there it is. There it is right there. Now you'll notice at the bottom that there is no red anymore. That went away. You click update. Now, once the update transpires and becomes active, you'll notice that it starts to go. You'll start to see numbers here. you'll see numbers counting from one to 100. Once that update is done, the letters LD will come up on, on the screen. And if your coil is connected, the device will turn on. If not, it will stay, it will say CC and then shut down. So that means CC is, um, you'll notice that version 105 now. You notice that we're on version 105. So that means it's loading, the coil cable is connected and it is much more stable than it was earlier. I didn't get a chance to actually um, record the frequent the uh, EMI that was in the house. But anyways, if you go back to the client, 
it says update completed. You just simply just click OK, you're good to go. Anyways, hope that clears up any confusion with uh, those that have been struggling with the update because um, people are making it sound like it's it's a mess and it's difficult to update. I'm sure there people just have too much security on their computers is what it boils down to. But anyways, this is Jerry the Mining Monkey signing out. Peace. Go bananas in the field. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and comment down below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Fire away. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys.